hey guys and welcome to my channel on the 19th of june 2024 davido kubana chief priest peter obi aliko dangote davido's father top politicians governors billionaire businessmen we are at the funeral reception organized for the late mrs moreni kesareki the mother of the former civet president of the federal republic of nigeria people came like a mass to support to show their love you know for the family of the sarakis the sarakis are originally from Ilori, but the mass sorry the service the funeral service held in lagos nigeria and also the reception held in lagos nigeria and it was lit let's see how it went David is Tunji, his cousin, then Kubana chief priest, of course, at the other side. <laughs> So here we have Mr. Farouk. How many of you remember the man who went viral uh, during the last uh, Ujuoba festival in Ijibude? The one who was on a horse that everyone was talking about, guys. This is him. He came to the event looking super dapper. Hmm, guys, you need to see his sneakers. I don't know if this video captured his sneakers, but he looked stunning. Take a look at the tats on his sleeve. And before this, you saw Mr. Pitobi, David's uncle, the Momodu and Mrs. Bukola Saraki, that is the wife of the former Senate president. Like I said, the event was well attended. So here we have Senator Bukola Saraki, we have Aliko Dangote and Davido's father at the other extreme. His name is Dr. Deji at Dedeke. They were all at the celebration of life of Mama Florence Morenike Saraki, mother of the former Senate President of the Federal Republic. To be very honest, I actually thought the Sarakis were Muslims. Well, here the man in red cap is the governor of Enugu State. Beside him is Governor Obaseki of Edo State. Beside the Enugu State Governor is Governor Adeleke of Oshun State. State, and I don't know the man beside him. Senator Bukola Saraki has always been one who supports David's family. He was strongly behind David's uncle during the Guba elections. So you see why David left all he was doing to be at this event. Look at Juju on guard. <laughs> So here we have Davido's uncle Damola Adeleke and King Sonny Ade. Hey, those uncle Adeleke realized Sonny Ade is an old man and probably cannot spend for long. <laughs> so funny. David's uncle is full of good energy. <laughs> One thing about Davido's uncle, he will dance. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is GRV and his wife Ifeiwa. For those of you who don't know GRV, he was the Guba candidate for Labour Party during the last general elections. Yes, that's GRV and his beautiful wife Ifeiwa, who is a Harvard trained scientist. Oh, thank you. So today. This is how packed the reception venue looked. And trust me guys, everyone in this hall is a VVIP. But you know, even among animals, there are senior animals. <laughs> That's Mr. Peter Obi we have on the screen and Mrs. Inkiru and Numodo, the wife of the late chairman of Globe Motors. He passed in 2020. People rumored that he had COVID. The family said it wasn't true, but he was sick. And before they could fly him to Germany, he passed in Lagos, Nigeria. He was such a fantastic father and husband. And um, seeing the woman thrive so well, running his business successfully is such a big deal. So you can see Mrs. Nkiru and her best friend Ruth Osime. They are also friends with Mo Abudu. These ladies have been friends since forever. And when you talk about the OG before IG, you talk about Chief Mrs. Nkiru Anumodo, fashion, everything in between she has always been a very fashionable person even before the likes of toke and the rest started raining it's always been lady kiru hmm. if you know you know i'm sure some of you know already so here we have ndoko bebe now of this day style and of course we have ruto sime who used to work with this day as well and uh, that's Mrs. Nkiru. She is not on Instagram oh, and she doesn't really like the media. She loves her quiet and private life. Her daughter is quite famous, Uzi. <laughs> 
we have the widow's right hand man israel having a great time at the event you know the funny thing he actually arrived long before his boss arrived you can see israel dancing and having a good time one thing about israel he will dance anyway and he will enjoy himself The man whose identity I didn't know is the governor of Ondo State. With him is the widow's lawyer, Barista Ojuku San and White. <laughs> So let's take it back a bit to the beginning, the service of songs, the church service, and the way the reception looked just before the event started. Well, the event was planned by Sophia Events, the same vendor that did for the Wigways, the Vido and Chioma. And here we have dignitaries arriving in bits. The woman's son we have here, I don't I think the person beside him, I don't know, looks like he maybe his brother i don't know i don't want to give wrong information and um here we have guests arriving oh we have mrs ojara that is the mother-in-law of senator bukola saraki and we have her husband chief ojara this my goodness they have aged oh so we have baby saraki the senator's sister and we have mrs pauline tallin a former minister of the federal republic of nigeria so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life now it is god who has made us for this very purpose and has given us the spirit as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come therefore we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body we are away from the Lord. We live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and we prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So we make it our goal to please him, whether we are at home in the body or away from it. This is, this is the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. We take the next thing, in Christ the Lord, my hope is found. It's not good to do For John Master. Jesus said in John 10, verse 10, I have come and we have life, that we have it in abundance. The rich should not be afraid. That you are rich does not mean that you are not going to be in heaven. And that one is poor does not guarantee. David's uncle was also at the service of songs. You can see him being greeted by people. And here we have Senator Dino Milaye. I hope I got that right. Former senator representing Kogi West in the upper chamber. And you can see your favorite politicians exchanging pleasantries. Super excited. Um, nothing concerned this once with inflation or, or dollar increase or whatever it is called. Of a dutiful wife and a great mother of an exemplary character and candor who had left a great boy with then, you know we carried on and we seem to understand each other it's our business nobody could tell anybody to show you how we trusted each other so Four, three. 
two, one, we're done. So guys, I have come to the end of this coverage. Hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, this is more like a celebration of life, to be very honest. Because, I mean, she lived, she was above 80 and um, she deserves to be celebrated. This is not one of those events you come to and you see people do. Of course, I think her direct, you know, family members will shed a tear too. But this is a celebration of life. We thank God for a life well lived. We thank God that her children are doing absolutely well, which to me is the ultimate. And we pray that God comforts those affected by this demise because I mean, she is their mom. So one way or the other, they will miss her greatly thank you guys for watching ciao ciao don't forget to tell me your favorite part of this vlog